Hello there. So recently I've been using Blender 2.8 for hard surface purposes and I've created a little procedural material pack uh, for my personal uh, use and I decided to share it right now. Uh, the whole pack consists of 39 different uh, purely procedural Blender materials. They're, they've been created using default Blender nodes and uh, I'm going to show you the materials right now. They range from metals, different metals, to rust, dust, iron, gold, copper, cast iron, paint on steel, different mixes of materials, metal oxidization, paint on steel, rock, cracked soil, different soil materials, ground materials, concrete, uh, fabric patterns, camouflage, rubber, mud, sand, leather, wood, dark, sweet, glass, uh, and rope material. So some material will require your models to have UVs. So there's a little signature at the end, uh, uh, like a little signature called UV, so that you know that uh, this material can be only applied in the model that has proper UVs. Uh, so let's look at the materials. For example, this is galvanized steel. This one on the sphere is sand. And as you can see, all the materials are quite flexible. You can edit them. You can also, they're also visible in e EV. Uh, also, you can, uh, they have different outputs. For example, they have BSDF output, like a overall shader output. They have color output, roughness output. Some got normal, some got displacement output. So this one got displacement output. And also, they have a lot of options. For example, the sand uh, waviness can be controlled. And a lot of materials can be controlled like that. For example, leather, you can uh, choose and change the grain of it. So this is steel galvanized. Uh, you can always change the color of the material. For example, give a little tint to your metal material and go, I'll just go back. Uh, this one is UV material, one that requires UVs. Uh, so as you can see, it's called Iron Waffle UVs. So this one is pretty cool. Uh, what do I mean by that? For example, you, as you can see, the cylinder has UVs. So you can apply this material to, for example, pre preview your hard surface design and see if this kind of pattern would be cool. You can change the scale of it, make it look really small or make it really big and you can uh, tweak the edges the angle the size so as you can see there are very very different effects that can be applied scuffs different scratches edging see like the amount of edges so there's a lot of options for you to use. Uh, oh, yeah, see, you created, I've created a little very, very edgy material, but it requires UVs. For example, this top would be messed up, but uh, on the cylinder design, this would work great. And that's why I really like it. So for example, uh, it's iron waffle. There's also iron squares, UVs. So that's the same principle, you can change, uh, the same way you can change the size, right? You can change the size of it, you can edit it, it's all editable, all perfectly working, it's all cool. So, uh, another material, also I wanted to mention that all materials are grouped, they all have groups, so you can all, uh, call them in the node editor. Just by uh, clicking Shift A, uh, going to Group, and there's all materials, all materials that you need. And uh, this is quite cool, actually, because you could create your own materials using this as a base. For example, if you want to add some dirt into that uh, square iron material, you can add that. You you want to add rust scratches, you can add that. And specifically, you can do that with Masks generator that I've created. Masks generator is basically a gigantic node that I have, and it contains 19 different masks. So let me show you. 
See, it has different masks for different kind of purposes. Edge hardness mask. It highlights uh, edges softly but uh, quite hardly. Damage mask. Uh, ground dirt mask. Uh, this one, edge mask on top of it, I think would work with more sharp edges. Uh, leaking mask. Leaking mask 2, scratches, and you can actually increase the size of scratches, decrease the jitterin jitterini jitteriness and waviness of those scratches. Dots, dots plane, you can also tweak the scale values, different jagged edges. Uh, so I like this one, jagged edges. And you can go and then change, for example, jagged edges amount. So you can play around with that. And let's, for example, create a complex material using this jagged edges. What I will do, I will put search, click mix shader, and I found my mix shader. And then, for example, I'll call my rust material. Uh, la, 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 la. Where's my rust? So, yeah, here my rust material. I'll pluck it in. I'll pluck this one in and I'll pluck, I'll check, quickly checked. By the way, I'm using Node Wrangler add-on uh, and when I press Ctrl and Shift, this lets me preview uh, the current node that I'm selecting. So I'm going to choose Jagged Edges, pluck it in here and then boom! I got uh, rust material mixed with uh, this uh, iron square material. And I, if I don't like it, I can delete that. Put, for example, a simple uh, steel material. Boom. And I have this effect. And also, an interesting thing uh, that I can do is that is I can take a displacement node. Here it is, a displacement node, and use that mask as a displacement, plug it in here, work with mid-levels and like scale, and I'll have this outline uh, between the rust and uh, the steel material. And actually, as you can see, the possibilities are actually endless. And I can actually uh, stack up those materials, and it really reminds me is like Substance Painter with layers. So basically, one material I pick, for example, paint on steel material. Boom! I got paint on steel, but I want it to be masked off. So let me, uh, for example, I'll choose leaking. And here, here it is. You got leaking paint and I can change the color of the paint to any color I want. I can change its specular values. I can change the bumps and scratches on that paint. And as you can see, you can have different types of effects and it's, it's pretty cool. I think you can have like a bottom dirt and you can play around, play around with it, play around with different uh, the different attributes of masks and uh, come up with your own materials. Uh, so I'll delete all that stuff. This iron squares, I'll call my iron squares materials. And I have the, uh, when I, uh, for example, deleted the node previously and I call up for a new node, uh, I have the default values here. So everything is undestructive. Everything is perfectly in control. You don't have to worry about it. And also, there's other interesting materials that I wanted to show you. For example, uh, camouflage fabric material. And also a lot of materials, they have pointiness node. Uh, some got ambient occlusion node so that uh, some, some of the edges would be highlighted and would have different diffuse color, like this camouflage, for example. So... Also, for example, some materials called mix materials, like paint on steel cracked mix, 
And basically what it is, is a mixture of a couple of materials given to you as an example of what you can create. Basically, the possibilities that you can achieve with these base materials are quite huge. And using the masks node, having like 19 masks. Also, in those 19 masks, I've included uh, five masks and five nodes uh, that are being provided for free by Wayward Art Company. And I'll post the link down in this, the description if you just want to get those five masks. Uh, out of 19 that are available in this pack, you can get them for free actually. So I'll post the link in the description. But with 19 masks, you can have even more possibilities. So, what else? Uh, also, yeah, let me show you. Let me hide this. Let me hide this. Also, uh, I'm going to show you a little material that I really like is rock material. It's a really neat material. It's uh, it's quite quite cool. I really like it. For example, it has very good displacement, and uh, you can always tweak it to your liking, really. And it's really good for, for example, background objects. You can uh, not all objects should have custom textures that you go. That you make outside in different software specialized software so having procedural pack is really great uh, you can always work you can see what design type of design works or not you can stack all those materials up they're all seamless they're all work together in conjunction and uh, you can have absolutely amazing results with them and uh, you can actually use them in production as well for example for background uh elements uh in your renders oh, even some close-ups uh, it's not a big deal actually they they don't have like resolution cap they don't have uh pixelized jiggedness of ordinary textures so yeah this is my material pack uh i hope you liked it i hope you liked this video and uh thank you i hope you buy it and have a blast with it bye